Today in the mid lane, we have Faker against Korea's number one Yasuo P. Zhang. And not only are they going head to head, but Faker picks Yasuo's brother, Yone. Bit of an anime matchup. Kind of feels like it's Dragon Ball Z or something. And these two mids, guys, are so mechanical on these champions. The 1v1s they're going to have are just going to blow your mind. You can see them both Q stacking in the early game. Not able to chunk anyone out yet. And this matchup, in my opinion, it's a skill matchup. Baker comes in with the exhaust. P. Zhang, I believe, has run the ignite. And their Q range is like exactly the same. So it's it, it's it's a complete skill matchup. It's a mind matchup on holding the Qs. When you use Yone's E and move forward, the Yasuo, of course, wants to try and gap close with his E's, move through the waves. Both mid laners getting that bone plating. And I think P. Zhang, I mean, look. P. Zhang has thousands of Yasuo games, but he also has thousands of Yone games. So I'm favoring P. I'm, I'm favoring P. Ooh. Two mid laners go head to head. It's an even trade. Baker really wants to try and land this Q, but if he misses, P. Zhang's going to look for the all in with the ignite. It's not worth it for him. Level 3 of the next minion. He's able to juke out on the Q. And man, just watching Faker's POV and hearing his clicks, like he put so many imports into the game. And don't forget, guys, just because you hear him putting this many imports, don't think you need to match this in your Silver 3 games and start mashing your keyboard, okay? Just be efficient with your clicks. His clicks mean something most of the time. You're just mashing your buttons, like it's just gonna confuse you guys, yeah? The two mids so calculated in the early game. 17 CS for Faker. Next time he hits tab, I'll try and decipher it. Q gets dodged out. Damn, this is on a knife's edge. Faker a little bit healthier, actually. Opted for the Doran Shield as opposed to the Yasuo's Doran Blade. I will. Faker Booyah, Thank not you. able to just get this Yasuo. And clip him with those cues. The wave will crash here. Faker has a slight window if he wants to try and get a cheetah recall. You would have had to have already started channeling. So he's not going to look for the recall. He's going to hard press the Yasuo under the tower for every single CS. And keep pressure for the Diner to go and look and steal away. Oh, they can't land these cues on each other. And he has to stay here because the Diner's is looking for the invade. Never base if your jungle is looking for the invade. Remember guys. You have to stay and keep pressure in the wave. Baker luckily is getting the shove most of the time, which means P. Zhang, if he wants to take a trade, he's going to have to try and trade against all of these minions. Faker instantly gets a CS. Fakes the recall. P. Zhang slight CS advantage, I think by two. Gets the ward out. And they're both looking for Zerka Greaves on that first base, guys. The build path should be very similar. Oh, well, oh. oh, you can see he gets tilted just off, just, just missing, just getting hit by one tornado Q. He knows it's going to change the matchup and the outcome of what he can do with the wave. He could pull, he could potentially pull a freeze here if he wanted. You'd have to pull it into the wave. And I think Yasuo is either in here or based. But he definitely looked for the base because he would have had enough of Zerka Greaves. Faker has to hard shove this. Oh, he just sat. He fake based. The wind wall comes through. See, I would have got baited there. Now P. Zhang, the wave is much better for him. Looking for the 1v1. Q oh. gets flashed by Faker. Oh. And he didn't want to get knocked up by that. And then an Ignite Flash Auto might have taken him down. You can see Faker panicking. He knows this is P. Zhang, the number one Yasuo. P. Zhang going to get the much better setup here. Get the Zerka Greaves. So P. Zhang will hard shove this and try and deny as many creeps as possible. Let's see if Faker's fast enough to get back in the lane. CS lead for P. Zhang here. And although there was no kill, you have to say that just got hitting by those small, like he knew about getting hit, hit by that, uh, the tornado a little bit earlier where he got a little bit tilted. He knew that that might put him in lethal range and that did. He had to flash. That P. Zane gets the better base. If you're the last to base, it's, it's normally the better because you'll come back to lane with a better item, right? P. Zane's able to get a long sword advantage. That could mean the difference in this tight, tight matchup like this. But no flash just means this level 6 is going to be so potent for the P-Zang combo. He's got a Gragas top lane. 
Really nice team fighting in the mid late. I think that's Gumi Yushi in the bot lane, if I'm not mistaken. This is a very high elo game in Korea. Is it Gumi Yushi? On the Ash, yep, enemy bot lane. He's saying, I want to see his items. If Faker could hover over for me, that'd be really appreciated. Okay, thank you, dude. Oh, that's not bad. If he can land a Q, it gets Windwalled. He keeps Windwalling these Qs on the Yone. <laughs> so Pizang got the boot by, but also a, he has a dagger advantage, guys. Yeah. Even a dagger can make the difference in these type of matchups. So we're going to see if we can get an all-in. I really want to yeah. see it. No jungle. I don't want to see a single jungler in this mid lane. We haven't seen any influence so far by supports. Or jungles, which is always what I want to see as a mid lane. Beautiful moves there by Faker. It's almost, oh my god, it's almost comical at how these champions mm. kind of mirror each other in their styles and technique. Like the passive from Yasuo is extremely strong. You just wait for that passive bar and force a trade with bone plating, you're probably not going to lose. But Faker, he's playing around it, he finally lands it. Did he just. Oh my god, that chunk is so nice. Now, he has ultimate, but I don't think it's going to be worse. To, let's see if he can blow it. Popsy exa exhaust instantly. Diana comes in, gets the knock up. Oh, ah, yeah, the oh, Diana. A little bit of trolling made the R not hit, but the exhaust, the ultimate, everything comes through, and he collects the kill and the assist. Yeah, and that was a nice 2v2. I'm surprised at how many close range Qs fake he can dodge from P Zhang. That 8 ping and faker mechanics. Get the plating. And I mean, this is just going to be such a monumental uh, buy for faker here. It's going to completely change the matchup. He's going to be sitting... Careful. He's going to be sitting on so much gold. He's saying still has 70 in 8 minutes. But faker was 77 plus a kill and assist. He'll make his way. What is the shield bow? Interesting. He gets the, the, the vamp. Needs to get as much sustain as possible into the matchup. Gets the crit cloak as well to get a little bit crit. Working his way up. And there's actually a build going around with Chovy. You guys have seen it. He does a tank Yone setup. I don't think it's very good. But will Fakey be going it? I hope not. I want to see pure damage. I want to see some critical strikes. No summoners now. I believe for both mids. Let's see. Izang might be caught. He has the chickens to maneuver around. Whenever you think Pizang's out of trouble, but there's some chickens, some camps or waves around, he's not in trouble. He's going to be dashing. Pikachu wants to land a Q into an E. Can't quite get it. And the game state is looking really good for Faker here. He has good tempo. Flashes back up in 25 seconds. Pizang walks in. Baker just dodging so many of these Qs short range. He's saying has to flash, dying grief with that ultimate. But he's still going to try and look to try and find the Viego here. Viego flashes over. Baker will try and follow it, but he can't quite get it. Ultimate just came back up, flashing five. Level nine finally. Going to make this wave clear so smooth for the Yone. And I don't expect Faker to drop below 10 CS per minute this game from here on out. Yo, Oh, yeah. Ultimate comes through. Beautiful. Yeah, he knew. <laughs> he knew the Yasuo ult was coming, so he ulted just before Pizan gets baited. Both mid laners' ults have been blown, but the Gragas ult also definitely went out for Faker that. Are he going to try and help out with the Drake? No idea where Pizang is. Go, buddy. Maybe he looked for the reset. And top side, maybe a couple of chickens. 
Double dagger now for Pizank. Because Faker has a lot more sustain, guys, always remember this in the mid lane. If you have more sustain than your opponent, just even trades are massive wins because you can sustain back so much like faster. So Faker should be full health faster than Pizang here. And he continuously chunk him out because he has that vamp scepter. That lifesteal. Yes, Q gets juked. Our shots. Ooh, they're gonna hurt. Level advantage, however. I think Yone is the older brother. I'm not wrong. I love watching the right game cinematics. There was that that there was oh! <gasps> <laughs> faker, Faker, and here we go. 1v1 coming through. Duke out onto the Qs. Everything. No ultimate available for both mid laners, I believe. Pizang comes through. His ult is off cooldown. He gets the all in. Looks for the 1v1. But is he able to get it? And he does. So both mids use their ultimate at the same time. But because Yasuo's ultimate is slightly shorter cooldown, Pizang's able to get it. Gets the 1v1. That was absolutely spectacular. Even oh, after. Oh, oh, oh my god, and Pizan oh, gets a double kill. That's three kills over to the Yasuo, yeah, three and good. one. Yeah, 10 CS yeah. per minute. Oh god. You can see Faker smiling, because he just, he, he, I, I can, you can just tell he's enjoying playing this matchup out. It's a little bit crazy, and he's against somebody on so goddamn skilled as Pizan. Gets the reset. That's going to be such a big buy for P Zang. And just like that, I game gets flipped on its head. League of Legends. I don't know if you can hear that. I'm in. I'm staying in TF Blade's basement. He's like two stories above me, and I can still hear him screaming. I'm guessing his team is not doing very well. <laughs> uh, he finds. The Yasuo again, he actually is a level down. You need to be so careful here. He's saying ultimate backup already. And Faker, only 50 health remaining. P Zang trying to get the 1v3. There's no way he's going to be able to get it. Holy juke onto the Renata. Oh, he's going to fall. He does, goes down to the Renata. We get an assist. We're going to get some plates here for Faker. And he's back online with that. P Zang almost outplayed though. He's really feeling himself today. Should get this tower now. First tower. Faker has enough for the shield boat. He's already completed it. Get some more crit. There we go, baby. I've seen Pizang do some like IE death dance. Sometimes he'll go Zeal into Death Dance, so like it really depends on the matchup. I have no idea what he's gonna build here. They could probably go in with that. I mean that the shield bow, the crit into the IE just feels so smooth for these crit um passive mid laners. Baker has ult advantage, but it's I I, I don't know what Yasuo's ult cooldown is, but it's definitely a lot lower. I can feel it. Faker going for the all-in. Man, that was smooth. Oh my god, please get it! Does he get it? He does. And the Renata's going to help out now. Faker probably going to try and get a 1v2. Not a 1v2, at least he got assisted, but that was so clean by him. You see how he uses the ult? With the Q knock up into the ult, it's just so much CC. Faker monstering over the game here. 4 and 1 now. And he's going to go down. I don't know what he was really trying to do there. But I'm going to say that is an advantage to Faker's side. This team coming away with really nice bot lane rotations here. The Renata, I would say so far, is MVP of the game. It's always mid lane. It's, it's a, in the high elo games. And this is why I lost to Chovy is the, the jungle and the support difference rotating around the map. Like a rotisserie, a beautiful chicken or spit roast. When they're rotating around, man, it's so hard to play the goddamn game. Pizang does get the zeal. Maybe going for that death dance setup. I 
think he has the item oh, advantage now. Like, his items are so much better. I think he's situated to take every 1v1 from here. But the question is, where do we find the 1v1s? The game is starting to open up a lot, so you're going to get a lot of assists. The Ash Arrow is always going to be a threat from the Gumi Yushi. As Faker trying to get a kill onto his bot laner, not able to do it. And they're trying to set up around the Herald. Oh, this might be just be a free Herald now. Thank you very much, good sir. P Zhang able to get the kill onto Irelia in the top lane. He's full health. And this is going to have to be like a 1v4 play. Renata ult comes through, it whiffs. Faker trying to pick up the Gragas. Does have ultimate, picks up the Gragas, knocks back. Here comes P Zhang. Gets absolutely obliterated by those Callista Rens. And gentlemen, this game is really starting to open up. I don't know what P Zhang can do. Gumishi's arrow goes straight whiffing past the Dinah's skull. I don't know why I'm getting so descriptive. Wake up. Please just calm down. You're giving me a headache with these uh, movements, buddy. It looks like we're not done. The Dinah has ultimate. As Faker just flashes straight forward onto Gumi Yushi. Yuma not able to get out there and Faker takes down his bot laner. No flash now, no exhaust. Gets the Infinity Edge. This buy is so massive. If he gets on any squishy member, even the Yasuo gets the crits, of course, 100%. Boom, 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 crit your head off. There really is not going to be much you can do about it. And across on the scoreboard. Not looking good for the blue side here. The red side boys with the Yone. Gonna drop into the side lane. You can see P Zhang is actually down in the bot lane against the Aurelia. And he probably will get handed over the kill here. He does. Faker doesn't really give a shit. And he's gonna hard shove through this top lane and create as much pressure as possible. Now, what is the option here? <laughs> you know, I hear TF Blade is absolute. My whole house is shaking. So Faker shoves a wave and he's going to come across and clean up the red buff. There's not much on the map he can get done. If he hard shoves into the Gragas, probably not going to get anything. Gragas can just disrupt the wave with the ult. I think we're falling slightly behind on CS. Let me look at the scoreboard. Down, only down 7 CS on the Yasuo. We better make that back in the mid game. Looking to try and find and pick the Gragas. Baron up at 45. It's always annoying trying to get these Gragas is their cooldown is so, so low. Everfrost into the E. Everything landing. And it's still going to be annoying. They will collect the Gragas, but it's what can the enemy team get done on the other side of the map? You can see Pizang shoving down into the bot side. They do have bounties as well. So Faker picks that up for himself. But if they're able to get mid lane tower and bot lane tower with the bounties, 100% a one trade. I really get to kill under the karma. Yumi Yushi trying to cut out Faker. Oh. Oh. oh! He's watching, praying. The Viega is not able to clean up his team. P Zhang, look at look at the opposite side of the map. Faker spam pinging, do Baron, do Baron, do Baron. They clean up. P Zhang, other side of the map, getting two. Whoa, getting two towers. That's a lot of gold. But all he's going to be able to get is two towers. Was Faker able to get? They, they, his team able to get four kills plus the Baron. So unless P Zhang pentakills next team fight, should be a one game. Waiting for the cooldown. E goes in, gets the Q. The Everfrost gonna CC him up, and you can just see that the cooldown, the Gregor's cooldowns on that that Everfrost Archangel setup is too much. It's a stop, he gets the chain vest. Death Dance up next, of course. Death Dance, the best bruiser item. You can look, look at the P Zhang has Infinity Edge plus Zeal here. Right now, he needs to look for the engage yeah, with the Gragas. Gets the ultimate onto the Diner. Sorry, onto the Callista. Faker got hit by. They got hit by Ash Arrow, but P Zhang just. He just went in, bro, and. Not much really happened. He tried to make the play happen. 
Went super aggressive, but that's just going to be an ace with the Baron 21 minutes in. And this game for the Yasuo is not comebackable. Gentlemen, that is it for today. I honestly had so much fun commentating this. These two mid laners are so high skill level. And I can only uh, wish that one day I'll be as good as them. Hopefully you enjoyed today's review, boys, and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.